This program is brought to you by Emory University. Do our dogs love us? Good boy, good boy. That's the question Emory University neuroscientist Gregory Burns is trying to answer by training dogs to get in an MRI and scanning their brains. The heart of my interest is, is the dog-human relationship. Oh, thank you. In our first experiments, we did very simple things where we trained the dogs on hand signals. So the first experiment was this means hot dog and this means no hot dog. The results are coming out in his new book, How Dogs Love Us. The idea behind the book is, is essentially my, I guess, deep-seated desire to know what my dogs are thinking and whether they love us for something more than food. Oh, excellent. Want to do some training? Very good. I started with my own adopted dog, Callie, but training her wasn't easy because MRIs are loud, enclosed spaces, and it took lots of practice, and lots of positive reinforcement, and eventually she learned to hold still in the MRI. And in short order, we trained more dogs. Burns is the first scientist to run such studies. That looks good. He hopes the findings will show where dogs came from and their potential impact on human evolution. This is a map of each dog's brain responding to this signal. And what it shows you is the areas, these hot spots here, are the areas that respond most strongly to that hand signal, meaning reward. So that by itself is not terribly surprising. What is interesting is then when we do kind of more interesting experiments where we present the dogs with things like the smells of their owners or other people they live with, as well as dogs that they live with and compare it to people and dogs that they don't know, we also see activity in exactly that same part of the brain. That's important because it shows that dogs recognize the sense of the people they live with and that they have positive feelings for them. Very good. Come on out. Come on. Good girl. Oh, I know. You are so good. I think the answer is definitely yes. They love us for things far beyond food. Basically the same things that humans love each other for. Things like social comfort and social bonds. For Emory University Communications, I'm Corey Broman, folks. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.